Welcome to Kitchen Tales. This is Chetna Kumar. Today I'll be baking kunafa with vermicelli. Ingredients required: 350 grams of vermicelli. You need to take the finer vermicelli. Melted butter, half cup. Milk, 250 ml. Corn flour, two tablespoon. Sugar, two tablespoon. Vanilla essence, few drops. For sugar syrup, 250 ml of water. Half cup of sugar, half teaspoon of lemon juice, cream cheese, eighty grams. Rose essence, few drops, and pistachios finely chopped. Let's prepare the filling for kunafa. Take a pan, add milk. To this, add corn flour. Give a mix till the corn flour dissolves. To this, add sugar. Keep stirring. It's become thick. Now we'll add two to three drops of vanilla essence. Keep stirring the mixture for two to three minutes. At this stage, we'll add cream cheese. Turn the flame slow. Give a nice mix until the mixture is evenly blended. Ensure it forms a smooth paste without any lumps. Let this mixture cook for three to four minutes. You can see there are no lumps and it is blended evenly. At this point, we will turn off the flame and leave it for cooling. Now we'll prepare sugar syrup. For that, take a saucepan, add 250 ml of water. To this, add sugar. Let it boil for five minutes. To avoid crystallization, we'll add quarter teaspoon of lemon juice. Give a mix and add rose essence, two to three drops. We'll turn off the flame. Take a bowl and add vermicelli and just crush it. Now to this, we'll add melted butter. Give a nice mix. So that the vermicelli is coated with the butter. You can see the butter and vermicelli is mixed evenly. Now kunafa I will be preparing in the stove. Take a pan, add butter, grease the pan with the butter. Now we'll add the half of the vermicelli to the pan and spread it evenly. Take a flat surface and press it. Now to this we will add the cream what we had prepared initially. Leaving the edges, spread it evenly. Now, on top of this, we'll add the balanced vermicelli. Take a spatula, gently press the vermicelli, and also cover the edges with the vermicelli so that the sauce doesn't comes out. Gently give a tap. Now we'll turn on the flame and keep this. This can be baked in the oven, but I'm showing it on the gas stove. First, let the flame be high for two to three minutes. After two minutes, avoid the burning. We will keep a tawa and we'll place the pan over that. Let it cook for 10 to 12 minutes in a medium flame. Now we need to flip the kunafa. So take one more pan to that grease butter. Now we'll flip the kunafa to this pan. Slowly place this pan over the other one. It's uniformly cooked. After flipping to the other pan, cook in the direct flame for two minutes. 
it's two minutes now we will now place the tawa and over that place the kunafa tawa and cook it for another 10 to 12 minutes in slow flame after 10 to 12 minutes we'll turn off the flame now we'll garnish this with chopped pistas This is the sugar syrup which we had prepared earlier. You want, you can pour over this right now or you can uh, pour the sugar syrup while serving it. I prefer to pour the sugar syrup at the time of serving. It is ready to serve. Hope this video helped you. If yes, please do like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.